Hey everybody, it's me again, Alex. Um, I really need to work on that. I've been thinking a lot lately. Alex, we're not putting out uh, enough content for the channel. We have tons of videos on the back burner, but we need to edit through that and we can't find the time due to our fucking horrid work schedules. So I decided to do something a little bit different besides our normal sketch comedies that consume a lot of our time and our normal gameplay videos which consume a lot of our time as well. I've decided to take the initiative and start a new segment called Alex Talks About Books. Alex Talks About Books in this episode of Alex Talks About Books, I'm going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite manga things. I, I guess it's a series. It's kind of a series, but it's it's not. It is Junji Ito's Uzumake. Junji Ito, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. I hope I am. I, I'm probably not. I'm, oh, God. I've upset Senpai. No! Junji Ito is a horror manga writer, and he's recently came out with two other different works, which I will be talking about later. One is Geo, and one is his Fragments of Horror, horror short story manga series thing. But today we're going to be focusing on one of my all-time favorites to read, one that actually brought the creepiness and horrid dread feeling back to reading books again. Like, not a lot of books do that to me, but this one... This one right here made my skin crawl, for real. Uzumaki is a story about the horror of the spiral, Uzumaki literally meaning spiral. It's one of those concepts that just kind of stood out, but it was kind of an odd concept. I mean, how do you make someone afraid of a spiral? He did it. He fucking did it. He, he fucking did it. Nuts. Uzumaki made his first appearance in, uh, I think it was 1998, and it was published in a manga magazine editorial called, like, Big Comic Spirits. Um, in little volumes. It was a ser it was a serial volume thing, kind of like the Shonen Jump was for a lot of other animes and mangas. But this one was recently re-released in 2013 in the omnibus form. Which I purchased because, you know, I'm a very, uh, I'm a thick reader. I like to read thick books. I like to read thick butts. It just kind of goes together, you know? It fits. Uzumaki takes place in a fictional fishing village in Japan in modern day times. And it's all about this curse that's plagued the entire town. And it's the curse of the spiral. Spirals in general will cause all sorts of weird fucking shit to happen, like tornadoes, anything to do with a spiral, like, literally there is a chapter in this book where people just start turning into fucking snails because they were slow for some reason. That's spooky as hell! How do you do that? Who just, like, what nightmares are you having, man? I love it. Uzumaki brings to mind a lot of horror themes that H.P. Lovecraft had tried to put into his works. It's working against a force that is of dark origin, greater power than normal, and you just you just gotta deal with it. You gotta fucking learn to survive in a world like that. And it's very, very amazing what he does with this book. It is literally one of the better horror manga things that I have ever read. It's amazing. It's legit. I can't speak highly enough of it. The story is told in chapters from different, uh, it's the perspective of the same little group of people, but it's from different parts of town and different stories. The beginning story starts with his, like, the, one of the main, you know, protagonist's father as the... Someone message me. I'll get them for that later. But it starts out with the one of the main protagonists father becoming obsessed with the spiral he was digging clay to make pots and he would constantly make start making pots into spirals needless to say things spiraled out of control <laughs> bit 
much. And the chapters go on from there. One of my favorite chapters that really stuck with me is one of the most creepy things ever. By, by the way, I'm reading it as I'm speaking with you. Just like, there was an entire chapter. Now get the premise of this. There are a lot of pregnant ladies in a hospital. The babies come out infected with a spiral and they can talk. And they all want to go back to the womb. And for, there's also these mushrooms that appear out of the afterbirth and people start eating them because they think they're nutritious or something and it's really turning them mad with the spiral. Yeah, like womb baby mushrooms. It's my new punk band name, don't steal it. But it's, it's, it's legit it's horrifying because the mothers become enraged and zombified and then they start drinking people like they're like sucking them dry like mosquitoes. They use little handheld drills to drill into human flesh. Like here, just like look at this. Fucking look. Here, I'll let you get a good look at that. That's fucking... Jesus Christ. Oh. And eventually that chapter resolves itself. Not at all. Like... The main character just runs out of the hospital and it's never, like, spoken of again. Who knows what happened. But essentially, all the babies were, like, kind of, uh, mind-controlling their mothers and the doctor. And the doctor would sew the babies back into the mother. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Art. Art. Uzumaki's even made its way into the big screen with a uh, Uzumaki movie, live action movie. Um, it came out a, a while back. I, I've never seen it. I want to see it just to see what the director's take was on upon reading this. This sh fucking psychotic. This is psychotic. This is fucking literal psychosis. It brings to mind um, Paranoia Agent. Satoshi Khan, just in general creepy themes that really just kind of get into your head and fuck with you a lot. And I love it. This, I could not recommend this book more. It is amazing. It is legit. I'm not going to give away the ending, but it has kind of a bittersweet ending. You know, I'm not going to give much of it away, but I'm sitting here looking at it and... Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. It literally is the Japanese version of an eldritch horror from like Lovecraftian lore. Like I was half like halfway through this book when it started handing of that kind of shit, I literally expected Cthulhu to just rise up from the fucking sea and just go, "Hey, hi." I guess that's what Cthulhu would do. I don't know what he really does. I mean, he spreads darkness amongst the universe. I like him. He's a cool guy. Wouldn't drink it with him a few times. He's a nice guy. And that, my friends, is Uzumaki. I will give this book... The reason I did it first is because I wanted to get my grading scale. This book is a 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. Join me next time when I talk about some other random book that's on my shelf over there. See you guys. Goodbye. Alex talks about books.